Hi all, welcome back to Mechano Creations and today I will be doing a review of the Mechanics Safari Jeep set. But before we start, I would like to uh, remind you to visit some of my previous videos. Uh, I try to post as much as possible considering the daily grind. Um, this channel is dedicated to a hobby that started at a very early age of 7 and it is going to stay with me all my life. I uh, don't do much research on the content in this channel. I generally build what I like and I hope you will like it too. So if you like what you see then do share the video, spread the word around about this wonderful hobby and do share your feedback in the comments. So I just bought this Mechanics Safari set uh, for around 700 rupees uh, on Amazon. It was on a discount. Uh, I bought it along with the Mechanics Carla set and uh, i recently posted a review video on the carla set so i hope you have seen it if not do visit now if you have been following my channel i had already built one of these models from the set uh, with the existing parts i had i didn't have the set back then and uh, but i could substitute some of the parts i didn't have with something else uh, so if you have not watched that video i encourage you to do so now today I have the actual set with me and I have already built one of the other models from the set. So it contains around 155 parts including the nuts and the bolts. Uh, the model itself takes only about 30 minutes if you have some experience building this model before. The parts come in this tray uh, where you have a slot for each of these items. Now the first issue I have with this is that to keep all these parts in place. They have just put tape everywhere. So once you try to remove this tape, it leaves a sticky residue on the parts, uh, especially the axles, and it's absolutely not desirable. And if I compare that to the Toycraft sets, um, they have very neat packaging. So each set of parts comes in its own plastic packets, and this I believe is a better way to package the contents. So this is maybe something the company can work on. One of the things I do like is the way they specially put the nuts and the screws in the small yellow box. I have plenty of these boxes and it is a good way to sort out the smaller parts in your inventory. So thumbs up for that. I also see this new flexible 5x3 plate. Uh, I cannot make out if this is rubber or, so, or some kind of plastic, uh, flexible plastic. This is much more thicker than the same parts uh, which I already have. And I have never seen this part before in any of the mechanic sets or the toy craft sets. The finishing is not that great. It could have been better. Now coming to the manuals, the instruction uh, gives you five models to build. The instructions are very well represented. Overall, all the models have the same chassis and it's just the top that is kind of different. You get uh, five wheels in the set, one of which serves as a spare on the model. You also get four of these car seats, uh, which is a bonus and one of the reasons I bought this set. So I really like how they are very compact and it's very, very useful for building small cars. Also uh, in the set, you get the steering wheel, which is nice. I hope they build a version later where uh, this can be fixed onto an axle using a screw or something. So that will allow you to build working steering mechanisms. Coming back to the set, the build time for each of these models is uh, just about 30 or 35 minutes max. It's quite a small model, it's compact, looks quite good and I had posted some pictures of this model I had built earlier so you can check out my Flickr album if you want. So you can see how it compares to the Mechanics Carla model, it is pretty small, it's just about the size as my vintage car. And if you like the vintage car model by the way, you can visit that video as well. The link will be on the top right on the video and I will put it on the description. So these models are very good for toy photography if you are into that hobby. Uh, for me, I would be keeping this in my waterfront ground diorama which I had completed just before. And if you want to see more on this project, uh, click on the link on the top, it will be in the description as well. I do encourage you to view this video. There were few things I had tried there for the first time and it might benefit to you as well. So do check it out. So I hope you got to know something from today's review. It's a nice little set and worth the price definitely. Let me know about your projects in the comments. Uh, you can message me on Facebook as well. 
do leave a like if you want and do share and subscribe bye